Hey guys, Conch here, and today I got a video for you guys on two Chrome extensions that really help when trading and selling items on the CSGO Steam Market, as well as also buying items. So the first one I'll show off is the Steam Inventory Helper. So recently I made a video showing how to make profit using like the trade bots and stuff. Um, that video got, did fairly well, so a lot of people watched it, and some people were wondering um, how it is I managed to get like the stuff like prices to show up the trade offers and basically the way you do it is by adding this extension which is team inventory helper so I'll link it down below basically um you just add it to Chrome and it changes a few things around so one of which um, is that it shows the prices for like items like it shows here um, in this little kind of window it shows like the prices and the value of skins in your inventory and like other people's inventories when you're saying of trade offers so that's really good because it kind of like it helps you kind of keep a tally to make sure that like whatever it is you're offering them is worth like enough um, to the point where you're not kind of lowballing them. I don't. Know, it's really useful though for trading, and it changes more than just that actually. So another thing it does is it allows you to do this, which basically you can click on any skin in your inventory that is um, sellable on the Steam market. So like things like um, graffitis that you already opened, you can actually. Um, sell them on the invent like on the steam market as well as like service metals and stuff but for any skin it'll give you the option like it'll show you how much it's selling at like that's all kind of usual but it'll also allow you to um quick sell it which basically you sell it for a cent less so this way you don't have to go through like the whole this window and kind of like type in what price you want to sell instead you just click this and it like gives you the confirm message on your phone they had to click to confirm that you put it on the C market um another thing that this also allows you to do is get the float of items in your like inventory through the steam window so you can see my knife's got a 0.24454 float and it also allows you to um get a screenshot of this and it'll put you in a queue and basically like um once that your queue number i guess is one it'll basically give you a screenshot and it'll show what your knife looks like um, kind of like in the inspect window, but it'll show you the entire thing. So like for example, the Bowie knife kind of gets cut off, but it'll show you this basically. So you can see like the entire knife um, front to back, like top to bottom, and then both front and back side. And it'll show you the flow value. And this is like a really good thing to have if you're trading on like r slash global offensive. A lot of people uh, will like link this image whenever they're trading their knives so people can kind of see exactly what pattern they have on their skin. Because, like, if you just post, like, the inspect, um, it doesn't look as good usually. It's because part of it will be cut off. But uh, this is really good, though, and it's really useful. Um, so, yeah, another thing it also adds, another, or, like, another thing that, another extension, I'm sorry, um, is Steam Wizard. So this is, like, the second extension I'm going to be showing off. I'll also link this one. And this one's also pretty useful. It doesn't do as much as Steam Inventory Helper. Steam Inventory Helper um, does like those two things I just showed. And I think it does a few more that I can't really remember right now. But um, for Steam Wizard, it does two basic things. And um, so, for example, let's say Acre Redline, right? So it'll show on the Steam Invent. Um, sorry, for Steam Wizard, it'll allow you to load all floats as long as you're logged in to um, either CSGO um, zone or like uh, some other website and it'll, it'll load all the floats for you and then you can also have them sort by float so it'll be lowest to highest um, and this is definitely really useful if you're trying to buy something where like the float matters a lot like an AQ red line so this way um, you could yeah so before the way that you would get floats or skins is you'd uh, hover over the inspect the game thing and then you'd copy the link address and then you go over to CSGO zone and then over here you'd have the ability to like type the link in and then it'll give you the exact same float value but this way it's just a lot faster and you can do it with whole steam pages at once it also allows you to um <coughs> it also allows you to change how many items show up per steam page so I can change it up to 100 instead of just 25 um but the thing with this one is sometimes it doesn't load all the items um on the steam market it'll only load um like half of them and then the other ones will just constantly keep trying to load them so that's like one issue um and there's also they give you around 500 items that you can load the float value for a day 
um, which is pretty like reasonable. I never end up using the full 500, even if I'm going like, even if I load the full like all the floats for like a whole hundred pages skins. I usually never use all 500 within a day, but it's pretty good that they um they allow you to do it like a lot for free. And um, I actually think the Steam Inventory Helper um also affects this. Because you notice how it's, some, it's actually showing like the stickers without hovering over it. Because usually you have to hover over it. So I think this is what, another one of the things that Steam Inventory Helper does. Which is just uh, show off what stickers it has here. Um, it also shows off like if it has a name tag or something. Like these ones, they'll say name tag. Um, so you don't have to like hover over it like you usually would. But yeah, these are two really useful, um, <coughs> two really useful Chrome extensions. I definitely suggest adding them if you want to do any like trading, or buying skins on the Steam Market or selling skins. Um, they're very useful. I'll link both of them down below, and hopefully this kind of answers whatever questions you're having on like, um, why it is, uh, that my trade window looks a little bit more different than yours, and um. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, whatever. And uh, yeah, bye.